COVID-19 outbreak has now hit the Philadelphia Eagles. Offensive lineman Lane Johnson and two other players are on the reserve COVID-19 list right now. This follows the Marlins outbreak that paused the Phillies season. I'm in news reporter Dan Koob is live this morning at the sports complex with all of the latest details there. Dan. Good morning to you, Janelle. That's right, the lights are on behind us at Citizens Bank Park, but no one's home at this point as Philadelphia has unwillingly become the epicenter of the sports world's COVID-19 outbreak. And it all started uh, sort of next to them with the Miami Marlins having 17 positive coronavirus tests among players and coaches. Over the weekend, they continue to quarantine in Center City. And now news from across the street at the NovaCare complex that Lane Johnson, one of three Eagles placed on the NFL's reserve COVID-19 list, as we've been saying, being placed on that list does not necessarily mean a player has the virus, although Lane did say in a Twitter post that he does have it and he feels fine. Quote, I will follow all protocols and I look forward to joining my teammates and coaches on the field soon. For the Phillies part, they continue to test their players daily and to this point have had zero positive tests. General Manager. Coming into the year, we knew there would be challenges. We anticipated there would be positive cases. Uh, we would have, there would be bumps in the road and we would all as an industry have to do our best to get through them. And they're not going to be easy. That's why, that's why they're bumps in the road. Um, you know, the best thing we can do is, is try to rally together both as a team and as a league to make the most of it because it's going to take the efforts of everybody to get through it. Now the Phillies have not played a baseball game since Sunday and they're not going to play another one until Saturday, the host of doubleheader against the Toronto Blue Jays, who will actually be the home team this weekend because their home country of Canada wouldn't let them play there, citing their own COVID-19 concerns. We're live outside Citizens Bank Ballpark. Dan Koob, CBS 3 Witness News. Thank you, Dan. Certainly getting interesting.